happy 2023, everyone. Thank you so, so much for the support throughout 2022. And I hope you guys a good 2023. So before I get into anything, I just want to once again thank you for all of your support. I read every single one of your comments and all of them are very, very positive. I honestly, I can't believe uh, we are hitting uh, almost 9k subscribers by the end of the first year. Okay, so let's do a quick recap of 2022. So this year, there's a few uh, main type of content on my YouTube channel. So let's go over them and tell you my thoughts about each one of them. So I've been doing reaction videos since the very beginning of the channel. But I've stated a lot of time that reaction video is not my main focus on the channel because I would like to do something more original, you know, something more, let's say a bit more creative, something more unique. So so maybe after the revised reaction, I'm gonna do reaction, but in another form. So maybe like I'll react to the whole series and edit them into one single, like maybe one hour video or something. So I also started making videos about Kamerana fighting games uh, a few months back and those videos are actually very fun to make but once again very challenging. So I'm glad that you guys enjoy uh, the gaming series. So I'm planning to go, to go over uh, all the Kamerana fighting games according to releasing order. So I've recorded the Kuga one, like the PS1 Kuga game and I have been editing it. Actually, I started editing that video a few weeks ago, but uh, I need to finish the Christmas one first. So that video took priority. And speaking of Christmas video, another very time consuming uh, type of videos is the uh, topic videos, which I actually did a few this year. Those videos are again, fun to make, but challenging to do because first of all, I need to uh, go over all the Kamerada episode regarding on a topic. I always think that videos like this is a good jump start of uh, discussion. And I hope you guys also enjoy those kind of videos because I think uh, the topics videos actually took the most time because I need to write a script, right? The, the scripting part is actually quite challenging for me. And then I need to do like voiceover and then I need to edit everything. And yeah, it's, it's honestly quite uh, time consuming. But again, I enjoy doing those. It's just, it takes a lot of time. So I'm so sorry. There seems to be a lot of period which there's just like no videos for like 10 days or something because I'm usually working on a topic video. So maybe this year I'll manage my time better and start those, you know, topic videos a bit earlier. So I've done this one single Kamerana quiz video on the Kamerana Vice quiz with uh, my friend Mr. Man. And I'm very interested on making more of those, you know, Kamerana quiz type video because I have some ideas in mind already. And I also would like to make the quiz video like a collaboration thing. So maybe each time a new quiz video, I will collab with a different person, like maybe another person who share their, their love for Kamerana online or something. But the biggest issue is that I, I struggle with my English when and it's not, first of all, it's not scripted or it's not heavily edited. So that's why I really hesitate when someone asks me to do a collab or when I want to ask someone to do like a collaboration, especially some of the native English speaker. I will get nervous and the truth is that my English is just not that great. And this is also the reason why I hesitate to find people on helping me edit my videos. Maybe the first thing I need to do is find someone to help me with my English, you know what I mean? 
I do toy photography sometimes. If you guys don't know, uh, it's on my Instagram. If you guys want to check it out. So I think it's fun to do some behind the scene or some, you know, kind of small vloggy things about toy photography sometimes. I actually did one about Demon Slayer and Kamen Rider early on. I'm not sure if you guys are interested in toy photography content. So please let me know in the comment section below. Because I actually got plans on doing uh, some collaboration with my local, you know, toy photography uh, friends. And maybe they can teach us how to do their style of toy photography and maybe share their process. Once again, feel free to let me know anything. So out of all the videos that I make in 2022, um, this video is my favorite, the, the one which I went to the Kamen Rider store. I am extremely interested in making contents like that. Like I want to take you guys around Hong Kong and maybe go through different toy shops and just something outside of the room, like something outdoor. I really want to do more videos like that. So finally, the highlights, bootleg videos. <laughs> so this is definitely one of my most uh, popular series. I'm so happy you guys enjoy it because I also like making those. Yes, yes, don't worry. I will get the Zero One bootleg toy someday and the DK bootleg toy someday. The thing is that I bought a lot of other bootleg Kamen Rider belt that I need to go through before I need to, I mean, before I buy the new one. So please be patient. I need to go through like at least six of the other bootleg belt that I got. In Hong Kong, it's actually very difficult to find, you know, the bootleg toys, especially the bootleg figures uh, on the toy shops. So I actually have this plan of maybe allowing you guys to send me some bootleg camera stuff that you found uh, locally uh, near your house or at your country for me to do a review, like an unboxing stuff. I, I think it's gonna be fun because I remember I visited Indonesia a few years ago and then I walked through this uh, like a souvenir shop and I saw a lot of Kamen Rider bootleg toys which I can't find uh, locally in Hong Kong so maybe if you guys are interested we can do like a, a P.O. box thing maybe I don't know I'm still it's just I'm brainstorming I, I'm not sure if, if it's a good idea or not but I think it's gonna be pretty fun let me know what you guys think about the idea if you guys wanna you know send me some bootleg stuff to do like a review on in terms of future new content, I honestly want to try to do more videos uh, around, you know, myself. Like, not, not just only Kamen Rider. Maybe me taking an English quiz, or maybe I can teach you guys some Cantonese slang, or maybe I can do, like, a travel-type videos around Hong Kong. Actually, that is what I really, really want to do. Take you guys, you know, around Hong Kong and show you guys around. I think it's gonna be fun, but it's gonna be way down the line. So, maybe those side projects can be on another the channel maybe a second channel or something I, I don't know live streaming is also something i want to do now and then maybe i can you know play a game and chat with you guys M maybe <laughs> So I'm putting this here at the end because I feel like this is not uh, the most important thing uh, in the video. I'm planning on making a Patreon page this year, so uh, allowing you guys to support me even further if you want to. It is definitely not necessary. If you don't feel like, you know, supporting me there, it's fine. Totally fine. No problem. My short-term ultimate goal is to rent a space for my production, like a, a place for me to always make videos on or, or, or maybe do live stream on. Because for now, I don't really have my own, you know, personal space. This is like my living room. <laughs> my mom is actually there in the in, in the room back there. And those bootleg videos was actually made uh, at my friend's studio. So every time I need to grab my bootleg stuff, my camera, equipment, and go to the studio and film stuff right there. Shout out to my friends who allow me to uh, make videos there uh, with a very with a very cheap price. So without them, there won't be like the bootleg videos. With a personal studio space, I will able to make contents which I won't be able to make uh, before, such as you know live streaming. I really can't live stream at, you know, place like this or at my friend's studio. So that's what I really, really want to do. So with the support on Patreon, you guys allow me to move one step closer to that goal. So if you guys want to support me there, I would be so thankful. So anyway, that's it. I hope this video is not too boring and not too long. I try to let you guys know my goals and my thoughts on the contents uh, right now and for future. So please also let me know what are your thoughts on the videos. Like what is your favorite video? What is is something that you want to watch or what is something that you are not too interested just just let me know so we can have like a chit chat uh, a, a feedback session like a discussion in a comment session below so thank you so so much guys for all the support this nine month has been you know amazing i i can't believe again 9k subscriber i can't believe it thank you so much hope you guys enjoy my content in 2023 and again thank you always for all your support and take care guys Goodbye. Happy New Year. Bye.